In this short video, we will talk about the application of uh, demand elasticity in um, economic and social policy making. So let's start with a policy important or policy related uh, question here. So does drug ban increase or decrease drug related crime? Well, this is an interesting and very important, I would say, issue uh, for current policymakers, politicians in the Western world and around the world in general. Now, um, first thing usually we'll think about is um, enforcing the law or taking a um, sort of a forceful action using the police force that would sort of uh, prevent drug suppliers and uh, drug users from interacting with each other. It is usually called in uh, in media if you know it's uh, war on drugs so one policy option is to increase the spending on the war on drugs that is basically pumping money into the policing of the streets uh, or arresting the drug suppliers drug smugglers and as Donald Trump tried to do build new new walls for example and so let's look at this from an economist's point of view now we will certainly will see uh, sort of a, a shift in the supply of illegal drugs uh, that is uh, because of the sort of a spending on the uh, war on drug there will be more police and they will be uh, arresting the suppliers of drug or preventing them from selling the drugs so supply curve will shift left now the ultimate effect of course then is the higher price of drug and a lower quantity is available in the market now what does this lead to well obviously higher price so it is going to cost more for the buyers the users of the drugs so they will tend to go on to uh, commit crimes then rob people or break into houses and steal valuables to sell and uh, uh, satisfy their habits so number of crimes might increase yeah that's because obviously um, demand for drugs is inelastic and it's for drug users it's more like a life or death sort of situation when they don't have drugs in the end the higher price and lower quantities basically lead to more spending in fact yeah in the short run in the next slide we will describe this in more details the original equilibrium price in the legal market is that the we have quantity one quantity and then price one uh, for the equilibrium uh, initial values and as you can see uh, this area here the uh, this area in uh, pinkish color is the total spending is the total spending before the uh, drug ban is enforced so in this case uh, we have p1 times q1 as the total spending so the whole total revenue for the suppliers but after the ban the likely effect on the market is that the uh, supply shift left uh, in other words quantity supplied will decrease and at all prices basically yeah, that happens so there is a parallel shift of uh, the original supply line to this red line but what's what happens now the price rises because of lower quantities the price rise is much higher as you can see here yeah the price rise is higher here let me just change my um, yeah this is better so price rise is is higher than the quantity decline so uh, the higher price and slightly lower quantity multiply gives us a higher revenue in other words the spending will have to increase so drug users will increase their spending but to find the money to to spend on this drug or to buy the drug then they will have to work harder but obviously we don't we know that they rarely work so they will have to steal or sort of commit crimes so this area essentially is now the amount of um, or the sort of value for drug related crimes so it represents the drug related crimes in total so the whole green area there yeah, light green area here is the new total drug related crime or total revenue now notice this after the shift we have this small lost area yeah simply this area is the loss of revenue or spending yeah after the after the shift but this is replaced with even bigger sort of spending now yeah 
So this is the adverse effect of drug ban in the short run. Politicians or policymakers, when considering using force against drug use and drug illegal drugs in the market, may have to think these consequences. Maybe in the long run this may change because drug price is too high for some people to keep using them. Maybe they seek different sort of ways of um, stop stopping using. Um, the drug or ways of getting treatments but in the short run there is possibility of uh, higher drug related crimes increased drug related crimes due to higher prices of drugs now we can also consider a second policy option oops <clears throat> second policy option um, that is um, improving or increasing spending on drug education so uh, some governments may introduce for example um, curriculum part of the curriculum for example dedicated to educating young children or pupils uh, on the sort of negative effects of drug implications and consequences of uh, abusing drugs yeah cocaine heroin or uh, other illegal drugs this may eventually have a, a positive effect in a nutshell, the result of a policy of drug education is reduced demand for illegal drugs. These young kids, as they grow up, they they grow, you know, they are, they make informed decisions due to this education they had in their childhood. So they may consider before so smoking this drug and taking this drug, and as a as a result, at all prices, demand shifts redu is reduced. So demand then uh, shifts left in this case. Uh, so then abuse lower quantities are sold in the market the price will go down so what happens is that the uh, possibility of reduced drug related crimes yeah but let's see this in a graph so uh, what happens is that we have the black lines as before the s is the supply curve and d1 is the original uh, demand uh, demand curve here now at the current equilibrium point we have p1 and q1 p1 being the equilibrium price q1 being the equilibrium quantity if you take the product of the two it gives us total revenue that the drug suppliers receive and that is also total spending that the drug users or abusers uh, have to pay and this is basically funded we assume through um, drug related crimes uh, usually drug abusers do not um, have good paid jobs I would expect that uh, in general yeah so what, now what happens is that over time if we educate uh, a pupil at young age in schools on uh, the negative consequences of drug abuse there is a possibility of demand shifting to the left yeah uh, it, it she may shift to left and then we have this sort of red demand line D2 now uh, with a lower equilibrium price P2 and lower equilibrium quantity so now the new light green uh, I mean this this green rectangle is now is showing us the the new value of drug related crimes or it's the new value of spending so we can expect this spending to be funded by crimes yeah funded with 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 higher crime rates so notice this uh, because of this shift to left overall crime now declined yeah so education will have um, a better result yeah so rather than uh, going uh, with a force against the drug use drug abuse governments may think about uh, better sort of uh, policies like educating the uh, pupils or even educating the uh, drug users that are already in the market